This video is sponsored by Gigabyte and specifically their G1 range of graphics cards. So you've got a 1070 and you want to go ultra wide. Let's see how it'll handle it. Okay, so the card we'll be using for this video will be the Gigabyte G1 Gaming 1070, which Gigabyte were kind enough to send over to me just for this video. The monitor will be the Acer Predator X34. So let's just take a close look at both those items before we get into it. This is a so this is going to be the card that we're going to be trying to run the ultra wide from. It's the Gigabyte G1 GTX 1070. Let's just have a quick look at what you get in the box. So there's a box within a box, and in this top box, there's just a driver's CD and a quick installation guide. But it's always best to just download the latest drivers online. And we've got the card itself. So the Gigabyte G1 Gaming 1070 features 8 gigabytes of onboard GDDR5 memory. The base clock is 1620 megahertz, boosting up to 1822 under gaming load. It also features Gigabyte's own triple fan Windforce 3 cooling solution, which is extremely quiet and extremely efficient at getting rid of the heat. The card dimensions are 42 millimeters thick, 286 millimeters long, and 115 millimeters high. The card also features a backplate which helps with rigidity, cooling and also aesthetics. The Gigabyte logo and the fan stop are also customizable through the RGB software. And the card only needs a single 8 pin power connector. The I.O. features on the card are a single dual link DVI, 3 display ports and a single HDMI which is more than enough for a triple monitor setup. And here's the monitor that we'll be using for the testing. So this is the amazing Acer Predator X34 gaming monitor. Now this is one of, if not the best gaming monitor out there. So the draw with this is that it's a 34 inch curved ultra wide monitor with a 21 by nine aspect ratio. The resolution on this is 3440 by 1440 and it can display up to 100 Hertz or 100 frames per second. It's got a four millisecond response time, 178 degree viewing angle, and it's powered by the LG AH IPS panel. Connectivity on this monitor features four USB 3 ports with charging capability, a headphone port, it also has display port and HDMI. Right, so here's my take on it. So what I was looking for from the GTX 1070 was for it to be able to average 60 FPS across the games. Some it did that and some it didn't. Now, there's two important factors to keep in mind when you think about that. The first thing is that the card is running completely stock out of the box. I haven't overclocked it whatsoever. And we all know how well the 1070s respond to overclocking. They absolutely love it. And you can get a huge amount of performance out of them just with a few minutes of mucking around in some overclocking software. And the second thing is 
all the games were run in maximum detail. Now the problem with that is, there's often settings in game that are very expensive performance wise that don't offer that much of a visual improvement. Things like shadow quality or foliage density, things like that that don't really add much value to the appearance of the game but cost a lot of performance. So to be able to average 60 FPS on a 3440 by 1440 screen with a 1070 I think isn't unachievable. I think you could do a combination of putting a mild overclock on it, but also balancing out your in-game settings just to make sure that you're not spending extra performance on things you're not gonna notice. Now, another thing that I didn't really explain was that there's two realms of ultra-wide. The first one being 2560 by 1080, and the second one obviously 3440 by 1440. If you've got a 2560 by 1080 ultra-wide, you could put one of these in and not worry about a thing. It would absolutely own that. Um, but you're going to need to do a little bit of tweaking with the card and with your in-game settings to get it running at an average of above 60 FPS. And some games is going to push up towards the 100 frame cap. It depends on the game. Some are easier to run than others. All in all, I was pretty impressed with the 1070. I run a 1080 um, by default in this system. And the 1070 impressed me. I wasn't expecting that much from it. So I just want to say a big thank you again to Gigabyte for supplying me the card for testing and thanks to you guys for watching the video. I know it's been a bit of a longer one than normal and as a reward for that what I've done is I've cut in some bloopers just after the end of this outro um, for you guys to watch just, um, just for a bit of fun and let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks guys. See ya. Okay, so that's one. Right, 1070 ultra wide, is it gonna cope? <laughs> <laughs> is this even on? Yep. Uh. Possibly. Right, 1070 ultra wide, is it gonna cope? <laughs> <laughs> I have a 1070, I have an ultra wide. You want to do a take? Yeah, you do a take. No! Go on. No! Yeah. <coughs> so you've got a 1070 and you want to go ultra wide. Let's see how it copes. <laughs> <laughs>